people today we have another product review perhaps our most anticipated product review ever for us we can't wait we can't believe it so much so in fact the cat has already claimed it as well it is the crew core you can see it there now crew core wow i just can't even believe it right now i'm just really excited how about you jenny i am incredibly excited so what are you thinking i think that we need to take it out of the box it's a crew core people so like right here i mean we even got like a little qr code there we're gonna have to scan that and see what that says because it's like i'm not an ordinary qr code to do the unboxing on this crew core 10 we have perhaps i'm gonna say the knife of the year right here in the ocaso strategy listen to this thing open man that's amazing it's a nice knife As always, we're going in together for that first look. Let's do it. All right. Look at that. This color is nice. I'm liking this green color. Jenny, check out this color. Look at this green color. What are you thinking? Oh, it's so, it's sharp. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of like a different green. It's not necessarily like an OD or anything. It's kind of cool. No, like in the color. Look how this thing's like strapped up and whatnot. Let's get it out of the box. All right, got her out of the box. Jenny just pointed this out to me right here. Perhaps this is like an Ireland green. Yep, that's what I'm calling it. Ireland green. Crew up. Man, this is looking popping. These nice little zippers. Crew of core. Man, this is a beautiful looking setup so far. I mean, Guess let's get this opened up outside. We also have like this little bag. I'm thinking there's like stakes and stuff in here. Tent poles, posts rather to put in the ground. This is tent pole less. Yeah, I'll show you that in a minute. By the way, I do have to add that they had like these nice like uh, supports in there, like these cardboard supports. Everything was packaged up super, super well. Uh, they're using a nice, super thick box here, so no problems with shipping, with anything getting through the sides or anything on that so much. So, great job, crew, on the packaging. The time has come to go ahead and get this Crua core out of its bag and set it up. First off, these carry straps and buckles have a really nice cinch on them. unzips fully. That's a nice zipper pull there too and reflective. Inside the bag we have the core instruction manual and some other things from Krua. unpacking the tent and unrolling it we have found all of our goodies so we have that included pump which we will need to inflate our air poles in just a moment so we spread out our footprint staked it down and spread out the tent the next step is to temporarily stake down those four corners and start inflating those air poles typical tents have some holes that you need to fish through and assemble However, the crew of core tent has air poles with inflation areas. Okay, I have to show you guys, this is amazing. So after about, say, three to four minutes of pumping, about two minutes on each side, there's two air poles in the body of this tent. There has been a tent that has erupted out of that pile of cloth that was once on the ground. Now we have a tent that's almost complete. So those air poles need to be inflated to about 7 PSI. So they're firm to touch, but not super rock hard. Then we'll do that porch area. This valve is super easy to use as well. So you have two options. You either have this one right here, which you stick the nozzle in there. And when you remove it, air doesn't come out or anything. Simply close that up 
and it's ready to go. While staking the tent and putting up the guy lines, um, I wanted to point out a couple really awesome things. So first off, right there is a mesh pocket for storage when you're not utilizing the line so it doesn't get all tangled. So it's a nice mesh pocket. Perfect if they're a little damp when you put them away. The next amazing thing I wanted to show you is so this is the corner of the tent staked out and right here you have this nice elastic bungee for the skirting that goes around the entire edge of the tent. That's to keep the rainwater, you know, if it rains, while you're camping, keep the rainwater away from your tent. So you want to make sure to keep that at a little angle and secure that with some stakes as well. It's complete! Yay! So we followed the directions that they gave us. However, this is super, super simple to put up. First time, I'd say about a half an hour, and most of that was just staking it and uh, putting up those guidelines. Check this out, people. We're in like a, a little vestibule area, if you will, right before the tent. This is nice and roomy. We've got some side entrance doors on the side here. And the vestibule porch type situation's got a big, large door here. So yeah, this can all kind of zip up and tuck up in there. And uh, we can kind of have, have a nice breeze here. And of course, here we've got our beam which is just uh, inflated with air, so no tent poles. I mean, that's awesome. It's a nice big footprint out here. I could definitely see sitting out here in some chairs, staying dry from some rain, perhaps. But let's, let's go check out the interior of this uh, core tent. I mean, crew is not messing around with this product. Definitely check it out. This is an amazing tent. I mean, just laying in here. First impressions, laying back, skylights. That's awesome. <laughs> Still can't get over these uh, these beams, too. Pretty cool to not have poles. Pretty, pretty cool. Crew is always thinking about these little things. Ventilation. That's not a little thing. That's a big thing. They're taking care of it, though. Look at this. A ventilation apparati just about everywhere on this tent. We do have like three connect modules through the tent to add more tents and make it kind of like a space station or like a uh, research facility, maybe in the tundra. We've got everything set up for camp and watch the sunset. So we'll check back with you in the morning and see how this crew core is holding up. We woke up to a nice light rain this morning. And look at that rainwater. Just whisking right down the side, cascading you might say, right down the side of the tent. And this is when you can really appreciate that skirting around the edge as it's keeping all that rain away from the tent. That little bit of rain turned into a little bit of freezing rain and a little bit of snow, but we are gonna be taking the tent down. So I wanted to show you all how we do that. So we've cleaned up everything from our camping adventure and I've opened up all of those little side hatches to air things out. We have unstaked all of the stakes except for the four corners of the tent. And then of course we left up this guideline because it's holding that up. First thing we're gonna do is deflate this front porch area. Way down so let's go deflate that other pole. Takedown of this tent really only takes a few minutes and it's easy to roll back up and put back in that storage bag. Thank you all so much for joining us on our first adventure with the Crew Accor. Uh, if you like this video please stay tuned for our next series. If you're new in town please consider subscribing. We'd appreciate that as well. And until we see you again keep your nose clean. Bye!